Hi everyone, I'm playing around with Google Sheets again and I thought I'd like to show you um, standard deviation. Now here you'll see that I've got a typical student um, spreadsheet of data. It could be stocks, it could be financials, it could be anything. Um, I'm focusing on student grades and you will see that I've already calculated the averages for these students as well. I've done that on a prior video so I don't need to waste your time with that. What I'm going to show you today is two things, how to calculate the standard deviation and then how to use conditional formatting to really highlight issues and errors in data. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in the command equals and I type in ST and straight away the first option I have is standard deviation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the standard deviation for this student here across these four tests that I have. So I press enter and I get a standard deviation of 14. Now that's quite a large number. That means that this student is deviating 14 marks from his own average on tests, which means that maybe there's something going on in the background that we're not aware of that we should dig a little bit deeper on. So this is like a good warning system. Now if I drag and click and drag on the bottom right hand corner of that cell, I can drag that function down and it automatically enters it for me. For those of you who want to know about doing averages and things, you can either watch my past video or I have included it in my workflow here. So everything that I'm doing is in my workflow. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do some conditional formatting. So I'm going to grab all of these numbers here and I'm going to go up to Format, Conditional Formatting. Now that opens a little dialog box here. I've done my best to keep my workflow visible, but you'll see it's a little bit hidden. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to choose color scale. Now I could go with the default color scale. I've got lots of lovely different color scales. I'm not going to though. What I want to do is I want to set my own numbers. So I'm going to go to number. And I reckon a kid's doing really badly if they're getting 39 or less percent. So let's color them red. So the cherry red kids are all the ones that are getting 39% or less. You notice everything's gone red, that's not a problem because we haven't set our midpoint or our high point yet. So let's set our midpoint, let's set that, let's set that for 59%. So there's a number here, we'll put 59% in here for our midpoint. And let's colour that blue because they're kind of average kids. Then let's set our maximum value for a number. And let's make that number 80, because over that is typically an A. And let's make those kids green. And there we have it. So we now can see at a glance, without having to read any numbers, because they get confusing and they're all together, which kids are failing tests. Then I can do the same thing for my averages. I can add exactly the same rule. I can add a new rule and I can go to color scale, put in the same values, number 39, midpoint number 59, and then I'll scroll down here a little bit, maximum value number 80, and let's make that green, let's make that blue, and let's make that red. Okay, so at a glance, I know what my student average is going to be, so these kids are probably in danger of failing for their semester or their term's work. These ones are sort of doing okay. All pretty standard so far. The next one is what I really like. Working with the standard deviations. Now this time the rule changes. Let's add a new rule for standard deviation. Let's give it a colour scale again. But this time, if one of our students is getting five or less standard deviation points, then they're doing pretty well. They're a consistent student. We don't ne really need to worry about their variance. This is not measuring how well they're doing, it's just measuring how close to consistent they are. They could be consistently bad or consistently good. So let's give them a color green. These are the consistent students. Let's make our midpoint 10 marks. I reckon if a student's varying more than 10 marks, then 
that's probably something to start getting concerned about, so we'll make them blue. And I reckon if we've got one of our students varying more than 15 marks, that's a real issue and that should be ringing alarm bells. Now, that's really good. Let's have a look at this student here. If we were only looking at their average, we'd say, okay, they're nearly, you know, they're nearly getting 60%. Everything's cooking along okay, yeah, and they might have done badly on a couple of grades, but you know, look, they've got a high green over here, they've got a blue over here. But when we look at their variance, there's an issue here. We can really improve that student if we can find out what's causing that variance. Just by having this number inside our student data, it tells us that we can drill down a little bit more with these kids and we can find out what the cause of variance is and usually that will lift improve or improve performance. If this was our financials, I don't think I'd want to be investing in a stock that's fluctuating wildly. Um, so, you know, there's lots of different reasons why standard deviation should be important to you. Hopefully that was useful um, and I wish you all the best and I'll probably see you soon.